So here is something I've been wondering. Can ChatGPT actually audit a Google business profile and pull off the kind of local SEO magic that a real expert can? So your listing can go from this to this on Google Maps. The big question, could it spot the same issues, suggest the right fixes, and boost rankings without paying for expert help? Well, there was only one way to find out, so I put it to the test. I grabbed a real profile and asked ChatGPT to do its thing. Before I share those results with you, let me tell you why auditing your Google business profile is so important. Google uses the information on your profile to decide when and where to show your business. So if your profile isn't properly optimized, missing keywords, wrong or missing business categories, linking to the wrong website page, you could be losing visibility to your competitors without even knowing it. Auditing your profile basically helps you spot what's missing, fix it up, and give your business a better shot at showing up when locals are searching. That's why I offer a personalized Google Business Profile audit to help business owners find what's holding them back and get their profiles working like they should. If you'd rather skip the guesswork, I'll drop a link below where you can book an audit with me. I do this stuff all day, every day, well, almost. But for now, let's see if ChatGPT can actually pull this off. All right, so the first thing I needed to figure out was what kind of prompt should I actually use to make sure ChatGPT looks at every single part of a Google business profile. But I didn't just want a basic rundown. I wanted ChatGPT to actually tell me if the listing could be improved and how with clear specific recommendations for each section, just like I would do myself if I were reviewing it. And while I was at it, I thought, hey, why not also check if the listing follows Google's guidelines? Because honestly, this is something I see all the time. Business owners unknowingly breaking the rules and risking a suspension without even realizing it. So to cover all the bases, I went ahead and manually pulled every bit of info from the listing. Yep, photos too, and even added the direct link to the profile into the prompt. And after a bit of tweaking, here is the prompt I ended up with. I'd like you to perform a comprehensive audit of a Google business profile. Please evaluate all the aspects of the listing, including business name, categories, description, map consistency, reviews, photos, posts, services, and any other relevant elements. Your analysis should include how the profile can be improved to boost its local SEO performance, whether it currently complies with Google's guidelines, specific actionable recommendations for each area of improvement, I will provide a link to the profile and supporting details. Please approach this with a professional and thorough tone. So once I had all the info, everything I'd manually pulled from the listing, I added it into the prompt and let ChatGPT do its thing. And just in case you're wondering, I'm using the GPT-4 version, which sets me back about 20 bucks a month. But honestly, if you're using the free version, you can probably get pretty close to the same result. All right. And now for the moment of truth. What did ChatGPT actually come back with? Well, let's go through it together, starting with the business name. So according to ChatGPT, the business name looks like it follows Google's guidelines, but it does point out that it's assuming the name matches the official registered business name, which of course it can't actually check. Fair enough, right? Personally, I dig a little deeper to make sure the name really reflects how the business is known in the real world, and in this case, it seems like it does. What I really like is the recommendation to keep the name consistent across all online platforms. That's something I always check during my audit. So I've got to give ChatGPT credit for that one. Solid advice overall. I'd give this assessment a strong eight out of 10. Let's move on to the next item, categories. In this case, ChatGPT says the primary category, roofing contractor, is spot on, and I'd agree. It's also the only category currently on the listing. That's why the recommendation here is to add some relevant secondary categories to boost visibility for specific services. And honestly, that's great advice. That said, ChatGPT didn't actually suggest which additional categories to add, and that's something I was hoping for. It would have been super helpful to see some specific ideas, so because of that, I'd give this one a 7 out of 10. 
Moving on to the business description. For this one, ChatGPT says the business description is short and to the point, which is fine, but it also suggests it could be a bit more detailed and really highlight what makes the business stand out. It recommends including things like specific services, areas served, years of experience, certifications, basically anything that shows what makes this business unique. And honestly, I think that's a solid call. ChatGPT is doing a pretty good job here. Now, it would have been even better if it actually rewrote the description based on its own suggestions. But hey, you could always run a separate prompt and have it do that. One thing I do wish it had mentioned though is that the business description has zero impact on SEO. It's good for visitors, sure, but it won't help your ranking. So just keep that in mind. Overall, I'd give this a 9 out of 10. Next is NAP Consistency, which stands for name, address, and phone number. For those of you who don't know, NAP Consistency means making sure your business name, address, and phone number are exactly the same everywhere they're listed, like on Google, Yelp, Facebook, your website, and other directories. Keeping this information consistent helps people find and trust your business, and it can also improve how well your business shows up in local search results. All right, so first off, I thought it was a bit odd that ChatGPT lumped the business name, address, and phone number together as one item as part of the audit. Yes, it's an important piece of the puzzle, but honestly, the address should have been looked at separately. Why? Because when it comes to service area businesses like roofers, Google's guidelines are very clear. They shouldn't be showing a physical address. And in this case, the business is showing one, which technically goes against the rules. So yeah, that's a big deal. By displaying a physical address, they basically put a big red target on their back and ChatGPT completely missed it. If Google catches on, there's a good chance the listing could get suspended. Huge oversight. Now, to be fair, ChatGPT did mention the importance of NAP consistency, but it didn't actually check whether the business name, address, and phone number were consistent across platforms, which is what an SEO pro would do. It just threw out a generic line like, make sure your info is the same everywhere on your website, social media, directories, yada, yada, yada. Look, that advice isn't wrong, but it's not exactly helpful in this situation. It totally missed the most critical issue and the rest of the suggestions were pretty surface level. So yeah, I'm giving this one a 2 out of 10. Next on the list is the website link. Now, the website you link to from your Google business profile is super important for SEO. It can have a direct impact on how well your profile ranks, especially the content of that specific page. Things like the page title and headers actually play a big role in local ranking. So I was really hoping ChatGPT would dig into that, but nope, it went in a totally different direction. It started talking about how the website should be mobile friendly, load quickly, and have clear calls to action. I mean, sure, that stuff's important, but it completely skipped over the actual SEO elements that matter here. There was nothing about optimizing the title tag, the headers, or even tailoring the page content to match the business's core services. These are the kinds of things a real local SEO pro would definitely look at during an audit. So yeah, another big miss. I'd give this one a 2 out of 10 as well. Okay, let's now look at the hours of operation. Your business hours might seem like a small detail, but they actually matter a lot. Not just so customers know when you open or close, but also from an SEO perspective. Here's the deal. If your listing shows you're closed while your competitors are open, Google's more likely to rank them higher than you. Simple as that. Now, ChatGPT did suggest keeping your hours accurate for customer convenience, which is fine, but it completely skipped over the SEO angle. It also missed the opportunity to suggest something smarter like adjusting your hours to stay open during times your competitors are closed which could give you an edge. And another thing, it didn't mention that your business hours on Google should match what's shown on your website and everywhere else online. If they don't, Google might just go ahead and change them on your profile automatically. Not ideal. So yeah, ChatGPT barely scratched the surface here. I'd give this one a 3 out of 10. Next is photos. For this one, I actually attached the photos from the listing directly to the prompt, so ChatGPT 
would have full access. Luckily, there weren't many, just a handful, so it was quick and easy. I was really hoping it could see what was in the photos or at least use the link I provided to pick up on things like the timestamp and how recently they were uploaded, but nope, no dice. The only feedback I got was the usual generic stuff like make sure you upload a variety of high quality images and include shots of completed projects, your team or some behind the scenes action to connect with customers. And yeah, that advice isn't wrong, but honestly, it could have been given to any business. What ChatGPT didn't point out was that this profile had only uploaded eight photos in four years, or pretty much the same, with the most recent one posted six months ago. That's a missed opportunity, and I really expected a bit more depth here. So yeah, another pretty underwhelming response. I'd give this one a three out of 10. All right, let's take a look at what ChatGPT had to say about this business's reviews. Reviews are a huge part of local SEO. They help build trust, improve your rankings, and turn visitors into actual customers. There's a lot to dig into here. But instead, all I got was something like, the business has an excellent reputation based on reviews and a vague recommendation to keep encouraging happy customers to leave reviews. That's it. Like what? Excellent reputation compared to who? What if every competitor has hundreds more reviews? Would it still be excellent? And what about review velocity, recency? Are people uploading photos with their reviews? None of that was mentioned. I've got to say, it was pretty disappointing. There's so much more ChatGPT could have looked at, but it totally skipped over all the deeper insights. So for that reason, I'm giving this one a two out of 10. Next, is Google Posts. Now, this business didn't have any Google Posts, so there wasn't a whole lot for ChatGPT to comment on. That said, it did point out that not using Posts is kind of a missed opportunity. You're passing up a chance to engage with customers and share updates. And yeah, I totally agree with that. Regularly posting is definitely a good idea, but I'd also add that there's no need to go overboard. Posts don't actually impact rankings, so don't stress about pumping them out nonstop. In my experience, the offer type posts are usually the most effective anyway. I'm not giving this one a score though, there just wasn't enough content to fairly judge ChatGPT on this one. Next on the list, we have the Q&A section. Just like with Google Posts, this business hadn't added any question and answers to their listing. ChatGPT did point out that it's an underused feature and recommended adding some FAQs to help potential customers, which to be fair, isn't wrong. That said, this section has zero impact on SEO. And let's be honest, most business owners don't even know it exists. So yeah, nothing really to rate here either since there was no content to work with. Moving on to services. Okay, we're almost there. Let's see what ChatGPT has to say about the services this business has listed on its profile. All right, so this business actually has a pretty solid list of services on its profile, which is great because services are a ranking factor. ChatGPT recommended making sure each service has a clear description and if possible, includes pricing info. And honestly, that's a spot on suggestion. Google even recently confirmed that having detailed services helps customers understand what you offer, see your prices and make more informed decisions. All of that helps boost your online presence and grow your business. One thing I would add though, is that by adding more categories to your listing, you can unlock even more services option, something ChatGPT didn't mention. Still, overall, this is a strong recommendation. I'd give it a seven out of 10. Let's look at what ChatGPT has to say about the last item of this listing, attributes. This one's pretty straightforward. Some attributes can help with rankings on Google, but ChatGPT didn't mention that at all. Instead, it focused purely on how attributes help customers, which is only half the story. It even recommended adding things like virtual consultations or emergency services, which as far as I know, aren't actual attribute options available on Google Business Profiles. So that part felt a bit off. Overall, the advice wasn't totally useless, but definitely not spot on either. I'd give this one a four out of 10. And that brings us to the end of this Google Business Profile audit. If I leave out the Google post, 
and Q&A section, since there was nothing to review, the total score comes to 47 out of 100, which honestly is well below where it should be. And that's not even considering some major pieces that were missing. For starters, the audit didn't look at the business's current rankings, which is super important if you want to measure visibility now and track improvements later after making changes. It also didn't factor in any competitor data, so you've got no sense of what you're actually up against. Bottom line, I think we're still a long way off from ChatGPT or any AI being able to do a proper full-on Google business profile audit on its own. So if you feel that you need help with yours, feel free to reach out. I've dropped a link to my service in the description below. Or if you want to take things into your own hands, check out this next video where I walk you through how to fully optimize your listing using every feature available to you.